Hi, Daniel here from Chile. I made top 4 on the Roman Duel Invitational event organized by Konami, and this is my Phantom Knight decklist. I'm happy with my deck, but I think some cards shall be others, as Dark Forest No More, for example. But here we go. For the mashups, it was a dice dependent format, and well, it's hard to play against a complete table with negations or 5 set cards. I lost my first round against Salaman Great, the one who in the event. And I remember my IP Masquerade and Abramax that I play on my last list, and but I regret not playing in now. Uh, then on round, round two, I won the, ma the mirror match with the artifact side. On round two, three, I won against Hero. He committed a hard miss to play, and it was a very sad match. And in my final match, I won a very close game against Destiny Bucket Dogmatica on our resource war. Then on the top. I thought I lost against Eldritch on my first hand. I break hard with well, with two fog plays, one wing, one droplet, one tracker, and one fusion destiny. That was solid judgment. <laughs> so I tried to do something, but against five set cards, it's impossible to play with that hand. On game two, I made my combo, but he played me five set cards and made my worst nightmare I struck on prison. Um, because my <laughs> all my boss monsters are water type monsters. And well, we're going with the deck list. Uh, on the Phantom Knights, I played three copies of Turn Scales, the best Phantom, kind, Phantom Knight card I've ever made. Triple Boots, Double Cloak, one, one Globes, and one Griefs. I think these radios are okay. For the extenders, I play double Kagamusha Knight over the forward because this is this is dark and it can do the Rusty Bardage. I play the Insane Danger Package, uh, the Speed Race because the Levier is Wind, the Psychic Wheeler and Tracker. For Teleport and for the other engines, I play the Burning Abyss engine. I don't like it in the, on this deck. But Burning Abyss is my favorite deck, I have to play this. The Destiny Hero package is insane. Um, because you can do a plus two, a plus infinite with this. <laughs> and the last but not least, Hearty Backside. This was an MVP on some duels I, that I get Dark Ruler no more. Um, Iris and Dark Ruler Chain 1, Chain Link. To Fog Blade, Chain Link 3 and 4, self destroying this and side resolves and get a free turn. So, on my spell cards, I use one Reportment of the Army, one Call by the Grave. I didn't pray the Cross Out Designator, and that will be a great meta calling on the tournament. I get Nibirid sometimes. But well, I also use the Emergency Teleport and the Triple Fusion Destiny. It's ridiculous. Uh, and well, my I'm going second cards. I play the triple tactics talent at three. I play the triple dark ruler no more. I don't like this card. I prefer forbidden chalice on this format because it this can't negate this. Um, my last negate card, the triple forbidden droplet, the ultimate rare one of Nicolas del Campa. He lent me this from the event, so cheers on him. This card was the other MVP on the tournament. And for the trap cards, I play the triple fog plate, one wing, one brigandine, and one imperial other that I didn't draw it in the, all the tournament. So for the extra deck, I play the Destiny Hero Phoenix Enforcer. His real owner is Rafael Hernandez, so cheers on him too. This card was a beast and. Uh, this can do some awesome interactions on this deck. I played it for the bricks, uh, Salaman Great Almirage. I use it several times. Link Spider for the trap, Nibi and for the Nibiru token. It saved me on two matches. Kerubini, the starter of all my combos. Bert Anaconda to the um, when you don't draw the Fusion Destiny. Artifact Agda for the artifact combo. Bardage because of Bardage. Appaloosa, because it's my way to have more negation when I start with the Fusion Destiny, and for the exit one, I play double Levier for the F0 combo. Double Breaksword, because I think I will need more than one, I'm, I didn't use the second one. And the F0 with the other F0, this is awesome, the start of 
on my tables and see you start IT news it. I would love on the tournament this will be IP Mascarena and Abramax. And well, the last, the Styrek, I played Droll. Didn't use it. Lancia. I would like to play three Lancias. It's anti ability card and well this is very good in the mirror match. I didn't expect to be to see five Phantom Knights on the tournament. And well, I play also two Lightning Storm. One of these is from Wi William Carrido, so short from him too. But I didn't get it on my hand in all the tournament. <laughs> Double cosmic. This is my first mistake. This card is a bad card in Phantom Knight deck list. Why? It's because the Artifact Lancia. This is the card that everyone is citing you, so you should not play cards that are vanishing. So just imagine this. You do something, you get Imperial Order, then you Cosmic Cyclone, then you get Lancia. You lose. The same line with the Evil Image. I'm, I regret to play this. And the last card, Salon Judgment. The, this card is insane. <laughs> Nothing to say. And well, now the greetings. The first time to all my people that lend me cards. Nicolas El Campo for the droppers, Rafi Hernandez for the Phoenix Enforcer, and Williams Garrido for the Lightning Storm. I also want to say thanks to all the people that enforce me to play, and to my family because they support me on all the situations that are given in this beautiful game. To my friend on the Twister, I love you guys. And also thanks to my friend from Royal Knights nice Ditachi for all. And we are doing a nice team on the Yemen, and I'm very happy for that. And finally, thanks to United Gossips for the support. Phantom Knight best deck. And see you in our next video.